tucked behind the Met is the oldest man-made object in America, a 5,000-year-old obelisk from Egypt. There it is, the obelisk. It's incredible. Cleopatra's needle is the perfect setting for a conversation with an anthropologist. Anthropology for me is really a celebration of different cultures yeah. and building an understanding of those cultures. And in doing that, you assign those cultures value. Well, I took a trip to Asia uh, this off season. I was there for a month and my girlfriend and I stayed in Shanghai for a few days and we didn't know anyone. It was just a completely foreign environment. That sounds more than just scary. That sounds a little dangerous. Well, I, I like to embrace, you know, a certain, a certain amount of danger. Caught behind the line and dropped by Josh Martin. The NFL has only 12 players with an Ivy League education, which makes Josh Martin a rare commodity. I feel like my intelligence is definitely valued in the locker room. But at the end of the day, we're all in the same locker room. And it's one of those things where you see the differences that we all have and what everyone brings to the table. And there's value in, in all of those things. Something you learned in anthropology, right? Something that I've taken from anthropology <laughs> and, and valuing other people and their differences. And taking an anthropological look at modern American culture, a big piece is sports. The NFL sits right in the middle of I, all that. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. And I didn't say this earlier, but I've always thought it would be a great idea to do an ethnography on the NFL. Okay. To embed my, you know, I'm already in the You're locker. embedded. I'm, I'm embedded. I'm, I'm, I'm in deep, you know, five years in. And to write an ethnography on, you know, just the, the rituals of game day, the rituals of practice. Uh, you know, you think of gladiators. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's what we are. We're right. gladiators. People come to see us battle. Does this bring back memories? No stomping grounds. This is where Martin earned his degree and proved himself to the scouts. You look at the, the crowd, the music. This, this wasn't like this when I was here. That's something incredible that they've been able to, to achieve. Columbia football had their best season in two decades. But as the only Columbia player in the NFL, Josh Martin attracts attention from everyone including the owner of another NFL team. I like what you did Thursday night. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's not often I root for the Jets. I appreciate it. Good to see you. You actually got the owner of the Patriots to say that he was rooting for the Jets. I won't, I won't repeat that, but, uh, you know, we didn't get that on film, I don't think. But. Martin makes it easy to root for him. A critical thinker, anthropologist, Jet, and a fan of everything he finds in New York. That's really what sold me on New York. I was on my official visit to Columbia, and I was in Times Square. It was 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, the latest I'd ever stayed out in my life. And in this back alley, this guy was wailing on a tenor sax. And I thought, wow, like, this is it. I want to be here, you know, living in New York. There's nothing better.